Getting old is hard, and Sudan isn't the rhino he once was. His back legs are weak, one eye is blind, and he's developed a skin condition. Sudan boy, come on boy. But his keeper, Zachariah Marty, has a deep affection for the world's last northern white male rhino. I feel like he's my, uh, uh, my brother. Yeah, I've worked with him for about seven years now, so I understand him very well. Wherever he's healthy, wherever he's sick, anything about him, I understand him. So I do, I do really take great care of him. For years, Sudan's owners tried to get him to mate with one of these female rhinos. But those days are over. Rhinos, they have to fight fast. If male winner fight, mating continues. Female winner fight, no mating. So Sudan has been trying a lot without any success. He was bullied by the females and he was being stressed a lot. So for now, he won't have a chance anymore to mate with the females. And it means that they won't have a chance anymore to have babies in a natural way. So scientists have frozen Sudan's sperm, hoping to use IVF one day to save the species. Until then, Laikipia is a sanctuary for rhinos and all kinds of wildlife. Nearly half of Kenya's black rhino population live here. And in the face of poaching, Old Pajeta Conservancy has the fastest growing rhino population in Africa. It depends on money from tourists to pay one and a half million dollars a year for guards, rangers, helicopter patrols and electric fencing to stop the poachers. Rhino horns are worth up to $300,000 each in Asia. These gangs have to be financed, they have to be armed, they have to be equipped, they have to be um, skilled, they have to be um, capable of finding rhinos at night, which is when most rhino poaching takes place. They have to be brave. <laughs> um, and so, yeah, it's not something that anybody can do. These armed rangers are at home in the bush. There are around 50 men protecting 140 rhinos. They have to spot each rhino once every three days to make sure they haven't been poached. They cover a 360 square kilometre area. Every evening these men head out on patrol to try and search for poachers. It's a dangerous job. They've shot and killed one poacher already this year. But they say they have a duty to try and protect the region's rhinos. As dusk comes to the bush, guards know there's a high threat of poaching tonight. They often strike when there's a full moon to guide them, and one is only hours away. Nicole Johnston, TRT World, Laikipia, Northern Kenya.